The Inn at Kitchen Kettle Village in the town of Intercourse, Pennsylvania, in the middle of beautiful Lancaster County Amish country, is filled with comfort, quality, and charm. Our visit was enhanced by the local sights, shopping, and good eats that were literally right around the corner in this village. We heightened our stay even further by purchasing packages which made our experience even more enjoyable. And all of this in the middle of beautiful Amish country. Stay tuned to see our room tour and property overview and hear why staying at the Anna Kitchen Kettle Village is like staying at a resort. Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. I am Danielle, your host here on Owl Living and I like to help plan trips to Lancaster, Pennsylvania. So today we're talking about the Anna Kitchen Kettle Village and so why I mentioned it being like a resort is because when I think of a resort, I think of lodging, comfort, food, entertainment, all in one place. And that's pretty much exactly what you get when you stay at the Inn at Kitchen Kettle Village. You have wonderful lodging, comfortable, beautiful lodging, first of all. You have shops that are all pretty much local people. You have local food, you have markets, you have entertainment. And if you want to drive 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there, you're going to have a whole other array of things to choose from. So it's a great location. So on this video, you're going to see our room tour. We stayed in the Strawberry Street Quarters building, room 101. You're going to kind of get a property overview because there are several lodging options. And actually, I'm going to link up here a bigger video we have on several rooms that they gave us a tour through. So that video has a bigger picture. And of course, we're going to get into the food, what kind of food you can buy with the food voucher you get for the village and the shopping and the entertainment and the location. So all that in this video, I hope you enjoy it. And it's a really wonderful place to go and they really treat you like you're a personal guest. I say that was the theme that I experienced is that I was there as a personal guest, not just some customer. So we just loved our stay. Okay, so on this map, you can see where Kitchen Kettle is in reference to the entire area of Lancaster County. And there's a close up map here and there's the town of Intercourse, which is just east of the town of Burnham along Route 340. So this is a really helpful tool. If you go on kitchenkettle.com, they have an interactive map you can click on. And as you can see, when you hover over the different buildings, it tells you what they are. So here you can see the guest registration of the Inn and Kitchen Kettle Village. And then here's where we stay, which is in the middle of the village at Strawberry Street Quarters. So yes, all the blue are the lodging options. And as you can see, they're spread throughout the village. So all the yellow buildings are the food options and this here is Harvest Cafe and it is the restaurant of the village and where we got our meal for that day. Okay, so here we are at the registration building uh, for the inn and it's right along Route 340. You can overlook the lot of the town of intercourse here. Really pretty location and I can pretty much guarantee you if you sit in these chairs long enough, you're going to see horse and buggy. So it wouldn't take long. We actually saw them when we were there on the way to the inn. We actually got there after hours, so they gave us instructions of what to do when you do get there after hours. And they have an envelope for you with your room key, your food vouchers, a map, information on the village. So everything was right there for us. Very easy, seamless process. Here's all of our goodies we got. And the voucher is good for seven different places you can get the food in the village. So it's a nice variety to choose from. This building also has rooms on the upper floors and it shares the downstairs with Village Handmade, which is a craft and quilt shop. Really beautiful stuff in there. We stayed here in the middle of the week in July. It wasn't very crowded at all, it was nice and quiet. It is very nice though that they have reserved parking for all the rooms because this place gets really, really busy at high peak shopping seasons and a lot during the summer. So we just kind of got there after hours when the village had already closed. So it wasn't very busy at all, but it's great to have reserved parking. So where I'm pointing at right now is where we just were, the registration building. So it's literally a walk away and the Strawberry Street guest cars are really quite in the middle of the entire village. I love this porch. This porch is one of my favorite things. It's such a cozy place to hang out, especially if you have several of you visiting and staying here together. And then right through this path is the way to the village and to their 32 shops. So great little walk over there to do some shopping and some eating. There are three rooms here at Strawberry Street Quarters and we had 101. It's a large room. It's good for two people. Uh, we had a king size bed. We had a separate room here, which was the sitting room, which I loved. It brought a lot of natural light into the place. Just a lot of space for just spreading out and relaxing. So I love the barn doors that separate the bedroom from the sitting room. And I will tell you, those barn doors are closed. It was very, very quiet in this bedroom. This is a king size bedroom. It was a very, very, very comfortable bed. And I'm really picky about the beds I sleep in. Like I, I just get uncomfortable easily. And I was extremely comfortable in this bed. Now the bathroom is pretty outstanding. They had upgraded it somewhat recently and it was a beautiful bathroom 
with just great fixtures. Everything was new and fresh and clean and just spaced out well. The shower was really nice too, as you will see. So I love the tiling in the bathroom, which is a really pretty touch they added with the with the strip of tile there. Um, there was a shelf there for the for your supplies. I wish there would have been maybe like a handrail. I would say that would be helpful. Uh, besides that, it was a wonderful bathroom and very comfortable. Okay, so Dan found the first package that I bought. I bought the meat and cheese sampler, which is a lovely sampling of meats and cheeses, which we love. Just It was quite large. I was expecting it to be quite that big, but that was very delicious. This cost $26 and included everything you see here. We also got the happy hour package, which was in partnership with Walt's Vineyards, which is also in the village, and you get to go there and have a wine tasting. Make sure you go before the village closes because, again, we got there after hours and we had to wait till the next morning to get our wine sampling. So, pro tip, get there, you know, before 4 o'clock at the latest to enjoy your wine sampling for the evening. And as part of that happy hour package, we also got a bottle of wine and these beautiful wine glasses, which I still use and I love them, uh, from Walt's Vineyards. So, we got the wine glasses, we got a bottle of wine, and we got a, a whole wine sampling for both of us. So, that was... A really fun package. It did cost $75. Definitely something to do for celebrations. In addition to the packages that we bought, they also gave us some complimentary snacks, which was just thrilling to me. Anytime I get free food, I'm pretty happy. We got a thing of jelly, and then we got some of the crackers. And I really love those crackers from, from the village. They're delicious. And I love this notebook here. This thing was full of information about not only the inn and the owners, but just Lancaster in general and all there is to do. It was extremely organized. I was really quite blown away with this notebook. It was something I wish I could keep, honestly, because it was like the perfect planning notebook for Lancaster County. I know several hotels do this, but this was a very impressive notebook. Probably the most I've seen as far as information inside this notebook. So great job on this. And the last thing I'm going to show you is the complimentary popcorn that we got from Pappy's Kettle Corn. So Pappy's Kettle Corn is delicious. It's in the village. It's all freshly made right there in front of you in this humongous kettle. And it is so good, and that was a really nice treat to have that complimentary as well. One of my husband's favorite snacks. I want to tell you about the food that we ate. So we went over, later we kind of had a fun morning where the owner took us around the inn and got some video of the other rooms, and so we kind of skipped breakfast. Then we had an early lunch. We went to the Harvest Cafe for our meal that day using our vouchers, and I got the chicken salad sandwich topped with cranberry orange marmalade, and it was extremely delicious and yummy. Uh, the bread was like fresh bread, like they probably made it that day. That relish was the perfect sweet tart combination to complement the chicken salad. So it was a very, very good sandwich. Dan got the chicken corn soup and it wasn't his favorite. He said the flavor was a little bit different than he likes. That is our review for our meal. That's what we got at the Harvest Cafe, but there are a lot of options at the Harvest Cafe. I mean, 50 plus options to eat there. So it's a great place and they do make everything fresh there for you. I do want to go over the other places where you can use your voucher. Asian Cured is a meat and cheese shop. You can use it there. The Bake Shop, which is inside the Jam and Relish Kitchen. Half of it is like a bake shop and most of it's the Jam and Relish Kitchen. But in there you can buy all sorts of baked goods, shoe fly pies, donuts, cookies. You can use it there. Harvest Cafe, which I mentioned. The Harvest Grill, which is sometimes open in the summertime. It wasn't open the day we were there. Uh, the Jam and Relish Kitchen. So that's actually good to know because just buying their... Their canned goods and their jars of food is delicious, so if you want to use your voucher for that, that's kind of saving you money for the future. Mom's Pretzels is this really cute little pretzel shop right here, and they serve a variety of different kinds of pretzels for breakfast, lunch, or a snack. And right next to Mom's Pretzels is Roasted Rooster, and this is the village coffee shop. Lots of different varieties in here, cold, hot, strong, not so strong. They're a really bright and welcoming shop to go into to get your coffee. It's a really nice place. So these are all the delicious and wonderful places where you can use your voucher when you stay at the inn. Of course, if you're a shopper, this is a dream place to stay because they're shopping all around. You can spend a whole weekend here because not only are you shopping in the village, but along Route 340, up and down both directions, east and west, there's many, many shops. So there's also a candle barn not too far from the village where you can watch them. They'll do a free demonstration and kind of like a walking tour of how they make candles. That's a free thing you can do and it's right down the street a bit. So. A lot of fun stuff. There's the buggy rides, which I also consider entertainment. That's right across the street from the Klinghouse restaurant. We did a couple of their rides before, and they have a ride that goes through a covered bridge. And I highly recommend everybody doing that at one point because it's so much fun. You have a, it's about an hour long. They take you the whole way through a lot of Amish country. Then you go through a covered bridge and come back around through to the town. But they give you a lot of information about Lancaster, about the Amish, about farming. But going through the covered bridge is just such a cool experience to hear the echoing of the horses' hooves and 
the rolling of the buggy is just a really fun experience, honestly, to go through a covered bridge on a horse and buggy. Okay, I want to quickly show you the other packages available to purchase. There's a sweet and savory sampler, which includes tulipy pies and chips and salsa from over at the village. There is a celebration package, which includes 12 cupcakes from a local bakery. There is the flameless tea lights package, which includes 24 tea lights that they'll put in your room for you, all ready and glowing. And finally, the last one is just the chips and salsa by themselves. So all this is offered at the inn. All their packages range from $15 to $75. I must say that while you're there, sometime during your stay, or if you're just passing through the village and you love ice cream, you have to try Lap Valley Farms ice cream. It is amazing ice cream, very creamy, not overly sweet. They use Jersey cows only to make their ice cream, which has a higher cream and fat content, and it makes delicious ice cream. Okay, so I hope you got a good overview of our room, of the property, of the food, of the options there are for eating and fun. Uh, it's a great place to stay. Again, what stood out to me the most was really feeling like a personal guest. They were extremely accommodating, extremely kind and courteous, and really wanted you to be happy with your stay. I really appreciate that. So thanks again to all the staff at the Inuit Kijikel Village. And not just that, but they, they based their whole village off of just that kind of frame of reference. It's customers first, customers being pleased and happy, and you really can tell in the entire village they feel this way. It's a great place to go. So if you love shopping, if you love food, if you just like to stay somewhere really nice and comfortable, this is going to be where you should go. Let me know if you've stayed here before or if you want to stay here. It's a great place and I hope you get to experience it soon. If nothing else, just going to the village itself is really fun. So thanks for watching and hope you enjoy your next adventure.